Okay, this is a video for conditions for a triangle looking at sides and angles. And uh, for this, we're going to look at uh, two conditions. The first condition is two sides and one angle. Okay, triangles with two specific sides and one specific angle. The following slide will show a set of triangles with the following conditions. A side 7 units, a side 5 units, and an angle of 30 degrees. So these are the triangles that were created with those conditions. What is the same about the triangles in the set, and what is different? Well, you can see that what's the same is that they all have um, the requirements for those triangles. A side of 7, a side of 5, 30 degree angle. Um, what's different, what appears to be the sizes, and what is also different is the position of that 30 degree angle relative to the sides. So this is in between, this is um, connected to the 7 but not to the 5. How many different triangles are there? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, looking at it, there seems to be three sets of triangles in this case. There's the blue ones here and here, the two yellows, and then these reds. And the basis for them is uh, that the blue, the blue triangles, they have the 30 degree angle is in between the seven and the five unit sides. And therefore, looking at them, only one triangle can be formed with these conditions. Well, the yellow and the reds, they have the five unit side being opposite of the 30 degree angle. So there's the five unit side opposite 30 degrees, the five unit side opposite of 30 degrees, the five unit side opposite of 30 degrees, the five unit side opposite of 30 degrees, and the five unit side opposite of 30 degrees. The difference is that the yellow have a wider angle between the five and the seven, while the reds have a much smaller angle between the five and the seven. And therefore, these conditions would result in more than one triangle being formed. So what can we conclude? Well, when given two sides and an angle, if you're given two sides and an angle, but not a specific order or arrangement, then more than one triangle is possible. We saw that on the other ones. We had uh, two separate groups or three separate groups, and uh, each of them fit the categories of a 30 degree combined with a side of five and a side of seven. So since there was more than one combination, we can conclude that this situation would result in more than one possible triangle or a non-unique triangle. If you're given two sides with an angle in between, which we call a side angle side situation, or a SAS, this results in a unique or only one triangle possible situation. We saw this with the blue triangles. The blue triangles had the seven and the five sides forming that 30 degree angle. And uh, the blue ones, therefore, even though they created two, it was really just the same triangle, but in a different position. So when given this SAS situation, you end up with a unique triangle. And then finally, if you're given two sides and an angle where the angle is opposite one specific side, we call this side side angle or SSA, you end up with more than one triangle possible. We saw this with the yellow and the red. Um, we had the situation where the 30 degree was across from the same or was opposite the same side for all of those triangles, but the yellow resulted in bigger triangles and the red resulted in smaller triangles. So therefore, it is not unique. So let's practice some of these. 
Um, we have these situations, which we're going to go through. A triangle XYZ with 85 degree angle and a side of 6 and a side of 7 uh, centimeters. Is it impossible? Is it unique? Or is it not, not unique? Well, it's possible. So we know it's not impossible. So we can ignore that first one. Is it unique? Well, they don't give us specific conditions or a specific arrangement. So it's not unique. So this would be um, a not unique situation. We can draw more than one. You could have an 85 like this. You could have that 85 here and across of it could be the seven and the six here. Or you could have a triangle like this and here's your 85 and there's the six and there's the seven. So clearly not a unique situation where more than one triangle is possible. Okay, another one, a triangle with 185 degrees and a side of 44 and a side of 40 centimeters. Well, uh, I don't even have to look at the sides. I know this is impossible. I know it's impossible because you cannot have an angle of 185 degrees in a triangle. Okay. A triangle has to add up to 180. If you had an angle that was 185, it would look something like that, where it goes beyond that straight line, and that would be the angle there. So this triangle is not possible or impossible. All right, so here's another one. A triangle with an angle of 100 degrees between um, sides 5 and 7. So when we make this triangle... You're going to have the 5 over here, you're going to have the 7 over here, and there's your 100 degrees. Well, we've learned that the rule is that um, if it's in between, it's going to make a unique triangle. There's only one way to form a triangle with those conditions because when the angle is between the two sides, it locks it into place and therefore results in only one possible triangle. And finally, we have a triangle with sides 7 centimeters and 11 centimeters and an angle of 80 degrees opposite the side of 11 centimeters. Well, we saw that this condition is going to result in um, more than one possible. Uh, we know it's more than one possible because we saw in the previous ones that you can have conditions where uh, you can have your 80 degree here, and then across of it you can have the 11, and then you could have the 7 there, or you could have a situation like this, you still have your 100, you have your 11, your 7, and this might result in a different triangle. We don't know, but based off of what I've drawn, but we do know that the conditions where that if it's opposite one side, the angle, it's going to result in more than one possibility. Okay, our next set of situations are going to involve um, two angles and a side. Triangles with two specific angles and one specific side. The following slide will show a set of triangles with the following conditions. A side of six units, an angle of 40 degrees, and an angle of 80 degrees. So these are the triangles that are generated with that situation. What is the same about this set of triangles? What is different? Um, so we can see that looking at the situation or the set of triangles, we can see that we've got... Um, large triangles, smaller triangles in comparison. We've got situation where we have um, we have triangles that have the side of 6 in between the 80 and the 40. So that here and here and here. We have the side of 6 opposite the 40. And then we have the side of 6 opposite the 80. Well, how many different triangles are there? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, when we look at this, we would see that there's actually three sets of triangles here, three sets of triangles. The blue ones, the green ones, and the yellow ones. Okay? And the green ones, those are the... the uh, Six unit side is opposite the 80 degrees. And looking at these, these two triangles are the same. So in this situation, you only have uh, one possible triangle with those conditions. So this is unique. Then we have the one where the six is opposite the 40. Well, that results in two uh, 
equal triangles. So again, this results in one unique possible triangle with these conditions. And then finally over here, we have the six unit side is in between, in between the 80 and the 40, and that results in the same tri three triangles. So therefore, there's only one possible um, triangle in this situation. So what can we conclude? Again, we have three conclusions. We have uh, if you were given two angles and a side but not a specific order, then there is more than one possible triangle you can form with that. And we saw that in the previous slide where we saw that there were three sets that met those conditions, but not all three sets were the same triangles. If you were given a side in between two angles, we call that angle, side, angle, or ASA, there's only one possible unique triangle can be formed there. And then finally, if you're given two angles and a side where the side is opposite one specific angle, and they mention that, that is opposite one specific angle, then the angle, angle, side situation results, and this will result also in one unique angle. So let's see if we can practice this, looking at a couple of examples. So we have the condition a triangle with side five centimeters and angles 40 and 50 degrees. So we have uh, two angles given to us. We have um, one side and knowing if they didn't give a specific arrangement that would result in more than one possible. Okay, more than one possible. Because you could have it where um, you have the 40, you have the 50, and then the five is here in between. You could have the 40 and the 50, and the five is over here, opposite. And then you could have the uh, 50, and then the 40, and then the five is opposite. So we have three possibilities in that situation. A triangle with angles 40 and 70, and a side of six that is opposite. Okay, this is gonna result in a unique angle. We know this from the conditions that were given to us, that when the angle is, uh, when the side is referenced as being opposite a specific angle, that's a very clear situation, so that results in a unique angle. If you're given a triangle with a side of 80 between angles 75 and 75, again, that's gonna result in a unique angle, okay? Because we know that when you lock the side into in between two angles that we are clear about, it's gonna lock up the rest of the triangle. And then finally, a triangle with um, a side of 40 centimeters and angles 60 and 60. Well, they don't give us a specific arrangement and we would think that that would result in um, more than one possibility because that was the rule. But in actuality, this situation is unique and it's because of the 60, the 60. Um, that's going to result in, just for this situation, even though it doesn't match, it's going to result in a unique triangle. And let me show you why. If you are told you have two angles that measure 60 degrees and one side that measures, well, it doesn't really matter, but in this case, 40 centimeters, well, these conditions are going to form an equilateral triangle because the third angle has to be 30 degrees. So if you look over here, um, there's your 60, there's your 60, and then one side is 40. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. It's always going to be um, one unique triangle. And that's because that third angle has to be 60. To be a triangle, you have to be 180, so this third one. And the other factor of our equilateral triangle is if one side is specified, then the other two sides have to be the same. So even though in this situation it doesn't specify, well, our knowledge of triangles will hold us to know that this is a unique triangle. Even though the rule might say, well, it says it could be um, more than one. In this case, because you're using 60 and 60, you're gonna end up with equilateral triangle and equilateral triangles are unique if you're given one side.